once again, welcome to Ed Harvest and Public Agenda. It is good to have you with us today. And I have a very good uh, guest to talk with us today about what's going on in his world. And he is uh, my good friend Rico Short. And as a matter of fact, uh, I've known Rico since he was a student at Kendrick High School, a young man who went off and did well, did it good for the neighborhood. And we're all very proud of him as he went away and became a doctor. And we're going to be talking to him about his profession, uh, how he got over, so to speak. So uh, it is uh, without further delay, we want to go to Rico. Uh, Dr. Rico Short, how you doing today? I'm doing fine. All right, good to have you with us. Thank you. All right, tell us something about um, uh, how you got it in your mind to be a doctor and what, what is your profession, and t a little about that, if you would. Okay, um, well, basically, um, um, as you said, I'm, I'm from here, from Columbus, and uh, I used to like math and science a lot, and, and uh, uh, we had a program at Kendrick High School called uh, Uniting Columbus Beyond 2000, and that's when I met my mentor, uh, Dr. Isaac Hadley. And uh, he kind of persuaded me from going into medicine to going into dentistry, being though that you can be your own boss and uh, you can pretty much uh, call your own shots. And you don't, you're not under a whole lot of uh, managed care uh, type of umbrellas. Okay. So um, basically, um, get involved with him, and uh, that pretty much uh, ignited my interest in dentistry. Right. And um, from then on, I um, went to Morris Brown College and uh, was still going on the dental track and also went to the Medical College of Georgia School of Dentistry. And uh, ironically, he followed it. I followed his same footsteps. He also <laughs> went to Morris Brown and also to the Medical College of Georgia. Mm -hmm. So that, that kind of uh, tells my track of how I got to this point okay. in dentistry. And uh, one of the main things I just kind of want to just uh, let the public know about uh, my profession is that uh, we're not just uh, mechanics like some people may think. Some people don't even think we're actual quote-unquote real doctors but we actually are physicians of the head and neck and uh, basically that's why I brought uh, brought my skull here um, so just to just to show uh, you know even though that people think that we just work on teeth we work on more than that uh, I had a patient come in just yesterday she had problems with her TMJ her temporal mandibular joint and uh, she went to a physician and the physician didn't really quite understand what was going on with her so he did CAT scans and other things so he he referred her to us and uh, we have more training in the head and neck of course mm -hmm. and um, so we were able to to get her a prosthesis to help her with the TMJ problem um, and 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 that's one of the one of the small things to the big gamut of dentistry that we do so we're not just work on teeth we're not glorified tooth uh, teeth mechanics right uh, w what usually happens uh, Dr. Short when when, when, when you have a cavity, what, is it you're not brushing properly? Is it acid built? What is it on the teeth, on the teeth that, that involves uh, decay and start that process? Okay, um, you have, um, main thing is called, uh, we have a, a little small chart here on adult cavities. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you don't brush your teeth, uh, bacteria builds up on right. your teeth. And what happens is the bacteria eats the sugar or, or the foods off your teeth and it gives off a byproduct, which is acid. So the actual acid is what actually breaks your teeth down to cause the cavities. And here's just a, a little chart here, um, and it shows that this, a, this is a filling right here. And this is a new cavity forming on the biting surfaces of the teeth here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, you have like some white spots are called a calcification. And that's when you may have a cavity starting on the outside, okay? okay. And then you have everything from root cavities, cavities starting on the root caused from receding gum line and plaque there. Um, to interproximal cavities between your teeth. That's why it's important. Not only to brush, but also to floss. Now that, that's hard. Now, <laughs> now floss and everybody, you know, people, we got it down, we need to brush every day after every meal, and you got it down, you take care of your teeth. But the right. flossing, a lot of people, your teeth are really <laughs> tight then, you're trying to, like you're pulling right. your teeth out trying right. to get that thing. But it's necessary, isn't it? Right. Actually, they say flossing is even more important than brushing. And you say, why? is because the floss actually gets a chance to get in between the teeth where the toothbrush can't reach. Then it's not going to, the toothbrush is just not going to get between your teeth. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Exactly. But, well, what about uh, when you get, uh, I've had problems uh, with impacted wisdom tooth. Right. Uh, wh what happened? Why, why, why didn't it come out normally? Why does that happen like that? <laughs> That's a good question. And, and they can be painful, too. Right. That's a good question, and uh, I did some research on that, and I think that's more or less an evolutionary question. And uh, the reason why I say that is because... We don't um, need them. Uh, right. Back in the day when, um, 
when the prehistoric man, they ate more uh, raw meats and raw animals. They need more teeth back then, you know, to, to, to grind uh, the foods up and things like that. But see, nowadays, most of our things are refined. They're cooked. We don't need that third molar or wisdom tooth like they used to need that back in the day. So uh, that's why evolution has kind of take place in our bodies to kind of, you know, since we don't need it, we don't use it. So, you know, it doesn't erupt like it normally would. And then the jaw has gotten smaller also right. because of that. Right. So that's why you get the impacted wisdom teeth, you know, and it's best to get those out early because if you get them out early, you have less complications than if you would at, at, at a later day. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm talking to Dr. Rico Short, uh, a very fine young man who, who's come from, uh, who came from our community and uh, went off to medical school. And uh, as a matter of fact, in Augusta, Georgia, we're going to have you tell us something about your experience at the Medical College of Georgia. Okay. What happened there, and how did you fare there? Uh, well, well, actually, when I first walked in the door, uh, I kind of had a, uh, a leg down, so to speak, mm -hmm. because um, I only went to three years of college at, at Morris Brown because of my grades. I was accepted in the uh, in a dental school a year, early. Uh, a year early, and that was kind of uh, unheard of, you know. And uh, the other, my other colleagues were looking at me like, well, what makes you think you're better than we are? You know, you didn't have to finish, uh, you know, four years of, uh, of college. And, uh, you know, I just said that instead of me playing around my senior year in college, I wanted to go ahead and pursue my career. So, uh, you know, uh, since MCG is so, is very conservative like it is, and um, it's, only dental, it's the only dental school in the state of Georgia. Right. They have a lot more lineage on uh, who they can let in and type of restrictions that you have to follow through. And because um, there are only uh, four African Americans in our class, uh, um, me being, uh, well, they were one other African American male. Uh, but he had some problems. But me being the only one to go through that uh, four-year process, uh, pretty much by myself and trying to get acclimated to the different climate mm -hmm. was, was, was pretty rough. It was pretty rough, but you know, uh, you know, I, I did adapt well and uh, and end up end up doing fine. Yeah. Tell us about your family, your parents, and your brothers oh. and sisters. And um, well, um, basically, uh, my story, I guess, begins as, is uh, um, I'm from a single parent household. Uh, my mother's a mill worker. Her name is Sherva Short, and um, you know, and and I had a very um, supporting family. I never knew my father, never met him before, anybody on his side. Was on his side. We didn't come from a family with a lot of money. We just had a lot of prayers and, and uh, spirituality. It kind of got me through the whole thing. And uh, I don't have any brothers or sisters, so I'm, I'm, I'm the only child. And, uh, and, and basically, you know, like I said before, um, <coughs> a lot of prayer to get me to this point. Yeah. Uh, well, what uh, I, I'm sure in, in your case, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of success stories happen out of single family home. That has nothing to do with it. It's not where you come from, it's where you're going. Right? Exactly. And uh, I, I, for one, am very proud of you. And I know you love your mom, and she loves you. Yes, uh, sir. Because she did a great job with you. And you had to want to do that kind of thing. You had to want to do right in order to succeed and, and, and get the job done. So we, we're, we're very proud of what you did. Um, what, what advice would you give young folks uh, as it relates to going in your profession? Um, First of all, I would give them the advice of um, always keep your eye on the prize, no matter how hard it gets, and uh, through believing in, in a higher power um, and, and associating that with uh, your drive to become whatever you want to be, you can make it despite of what anyone else says. Um, you know, and, and, and I'm a living witness of that. You know, and um, there, there were others before me who did the same thing who made it. And one of the main things that I think I'm fortunate in the fact that when I finished dental school, I was 24 years old. I was the, I just turned 25. I was the youngest person, in, you know, to finish. And uh, you know, and me being able to reach those younger people who I'm close to makes a big difference because they are listening to me more so than the older person. Yeah. Because I'm right there with them. Yeah. You know. Well, Dr. Short, it's uh, good to have you with us, and we want to continue our conversation with Dr. Rico Short after this word from one of our sponsors. See the very best that you can see. I am Vision Center. There's a difference you can see all around you here. Personal care and fine eyewear, you're going to see.
Support your local Salvation Army. Thank you for calling Pizza Ponte. Want it quick, inexpensive, and delivered to your door anywhere in Columbus, it's Pizza Pronto. All of our pizzas are buy one, get one free. With dough and sauce made fresh daily and all of your favorite toppings. And when you call, ask about our many specials. Call Pizza Pronto, 596-9855. Hi, I'm Billy Roper. You know, we have a lot of fun doing the television show for you, but in the real world, I make my living as a real estate agent. I specialize in commercial and residential. I'm licensed in Georgia and Alabama, and I'm proud to hang my license with Roe Realty Company. So if you're thinking of buying, selling, renting, or leasing, and you want to deal with a fair and honest man, I want to be your realtor. Call me at 322-6553. And remember the three R's, Roper at Roe for Real Estate. Thank you. And welcome back once again. We're talking to Dr. Rico Shorty, product of Columbus, Georgia, Kendrick High School, and Morris Brown College in Atlanta, and of course the Medical College of Georgia at Augusta, who's given us an education about proper dental hygiene and to do it right, uh, for doing it right for the neighborhood. Now, now you were going to tell us something about uh, flossing, I believe, and other uh, advice about making sure you don't go see you to pull that teeth and get that pain. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, like I, I mentioned before, flossing is very, very important. And if you don't brush and floss, um, it can start what they call gingivitis, which is, which is an early stage of gum disease. And, uh, and that's the number one leading cause of, of early tooth loss is gum disease. And um, I have a little chart here that I actually want to go through here. And it's called From Gingivitis to Periodontitis, which is severe gum disease in which you actually lose teeth here. Okay, this is right here. This is just a chart of some healthy gums. You have pink, firm gingiva or gums. And um, the gums do not bleed. Uh, mm -hmm. Healthy gums don't bleed. Okay, okay, when you brush and floss. Healthy if you, gums so if you're brushing and your gums bleed, they are unhealthy. Right, right. that's okay. correct. That's okay. correct. And also, this is plaque. This is the stuff that accumulates on your teeth um, um, right after you actually get finished brushing. That's why it's important to brush. Uh, as often as you can. We, we push for at least two times a day, and if you can do it three times a day, um, it's, it's, it's very healthy for your gums. I mean, it's one of those things that, that, that's, that's naturally in your body that, that even if you don't eat anything, you still develop plaque. You're kidding me. I'm serious. So, uh, you know, that's why it's so important to, you know, to brush and especially to floss. And, um, and plaque, what it is, it's like a thin, almost colorless, sticky bacterial film and it's consistently, like I mentioned before, forming on teeth, okay? And bacterial byproducts can irritate the gums and lead to gingivitis. And what plaque is, is an accumulation of the bacteria. Well, what is this hard rock-like stuff that comes up when you're getting your teeth done in, the doctor, in your office? What is that? That's called tartar or calculus, and we're going to be getting to that okay, right, in, right in this here, in this demonstration. And this is just a, just a schematic about how does plaque um, become harmful. And um, basically, plaque, plaque bacteria on the tooth surface continually attract additional bacteria, mm -hmm. okay? And it accumulates okay, so the more it is, the more it's going to attract. Right, right. Okay. And then um, the byproducts of that gives off an acid, which actually starts the, the breakdown of, of not only your teeth as far as decay, but also your gums also. So, you, 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 so you actually you're going through two different types of uh, uh, disease process, cavities and periodontal disease or gum disease. Um, and this is, this is a schematic of the gingivitis here. Okay, this is when your gums are red, swollen, and they bleed easily. Mm -hmm. So when you're flossing and you're brushing and your gums bleed easily, nine times out of 10, you have gingivitis. Fortunately, gingivitis can be reversed by your thorough removal of plaque daily and regular professional cleaning, okay? But okay. if left untreated, it can lead to periodontitis okay. and tooth loss. Okay. Okay? And this is early, peri early periodontitis here, okay? And as you look, if you can see, your gums start to swell. Right, your gums starting to swell. You get pockets in your in your teeth, and um, the tissue that anchors teeth to the bone becomes inflamed. And then you have some slight bone loss. So you start getting some mobility of your teeth. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's when that should trigger you. You know that that something is pretty serious going on here. And then you have the stage of moderate periodontitis. That's when you have more inflammation and more swelling. And then it kicks into what you mentioned before, as far as the tartar. 
um, and a calculus, and that accumulates right under the gum line. What mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's, it's a calcified form of plaque, and it and it's, and adheres more to your tooth. So you can't normally get it off with your own brushing. That's when you have to come to us. You got to drill it off. Well, we actually go underneath the gum line and, um, and, and get it off with our instruments because it's, it's too tenacious for you to get off with just a soft toothbrush, okay? And also, this is moderate periodontitis, which causes more tooth loosening. And then it goes to severe periodontitis. That's when you actually have more inflammation here and more of the calculus of the plaque of the gum line and in between your teeth. And here you have tooth loss. And the periodon periodontitis can only be treated by your dentist, okay? okay? okay. And um, basically, um, and to control all that, of course, you need to see your dentist um, twice a year, every six months, okay. for us to do our cleaning. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you know, you have to do a good job of your oral, own oral hygiene at home. Okay. Now, where is your practice, and how can one make an appointment with you to call you and do that kind of okay. thing? Okay. The practice is located at 131 North Oakley Drive here in Columbus. It's almost like right behind uh, Hardy's off uh, St. Mary's Road mm -hmm. and the Amoco Gas Station. Okay, and you're in, uh, you're in business with Dr. Dr. Hadley. Isaac Hadley. Right, right. right. So we, 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 we take emergencies and walk-ins, and, and we'll be happy to see whoever comes in the door. Okay. What about the gold tooth uh, <laughs> kind of deal, now, or gold teeth and as it relates to? A lot of people got more than one, so I mean, what, what about that? Is, right. Is that a craze? Is right. It's almost more or less like a fashion fad yeah, yeah. type thing going on. and. Um, you know, it's almost like, uh, I guess, guys wear big necklaces and jewelry, yeah. but they really don't understand that they actually cause harm to your teeth itself, um, especially if it's not done properly. Yeah. Um, and um, it can cause decay up underneath yeah. there, and then you have to come to us for us to professionally fix it and take, put, it. take it off and then put a, an aesthetic gold, I mean, aesthetic porcelain yeah. crown on it, Which you know. It's one of those things that, you know, that you have to you need to educate uh, your children, other people early, so they can kind of understand what goes on with that. Okay. Dr. Rico Short, we are really proud of you. Thank We're you. glad you came back to Columbus to practice, and uh, we look forward to talking to you again. Uh, thank you. God bless you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. All, right. All right. My guest has been Dr. Rico Short. We'll be back with more after this word from one of our sponsors. While music played at the spring.